Let's uh, get across a uh, management. Uh, Wellspin Enterprises uh, reports a 17 crore profit in the second quarter versus uh, a 7 crore loss, which was seen in the corresponding quarter last year. Markets, however, seems unimpressed. The stock has fallen over a percent. But let's decode the numbers with Sandeep Garg, Managing Director at Wellspin Enterprises. Hi, Sandeep. Good afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us today on Bloomberg Quint. Uh, could you take us through the highlights of the quarter? Thank you. Uh, the highlights of the quarter is uh, that we have a year-on-year -year growth of the revenue on a consolidated basis of 260% and an EBITDA increase of about 436%. Uh, the, on a standalone basis, the revenue, which is 170 crores, is about 224% higher than the on a year-on-year -year basis, and similarly, the EBITDA is about 839% higher. The EBITDA margins on a standalone basis have been about 20% of the revenue, which is a good sign. We have an operational efficiency. Uh, on a, in a terms of our um, balance sheet, uh, the balance sheet stays strong. We have about 950 crores of uh, cash and cash equivalent on the balance sheet with relatively zero debt on a standalone basis. So uh, overall, uh, the uh, business seems to be in the right space. We have uh, an order backlog of about uh, 3,500 crores. Uh, the business is a, at a macro level is looking up. There is a lot of business being announced by the government of India. Uh, in the road sector. So we seem to be in the right uh, in industry at this point in time. And the company is doing operationally uh, a reasonably good job. We, we are executing a Delhi Merit Expressway, which is the major project which is contributing to the revenue at this stage. Uh, to, we have completed about 70% of the project in 11 months. Whereas the scheduled completion as per the NHI is about 30 months, so we are well ahead of schedule and uh, hoping to make some bonus as well on the project. What, what's the, what, what, what would you be um, L1 in if I can use that term because as you mentioned, you are in the right project. If any of the la recent announcements from the government side are to be believed, then one pocket to be in is probably this whole uh, infrastructure construction area. What would you be L1 in? What's your estimate of how much further can this improvement go on to over the course of the next two or four quarters? Because this quarter, your numbers are looking certainly impressive. Uh, the the uh, we expect the uh, going forward the uh, revenues to continue to grow. We we have we started from a small base, so our growth is going to continue. Uh, we expect that in this year uh, our turnover would be uh, in the ranges of 1,200 crores or there around, and we expect uh, a year on year growth of about 30 percent. Uh, in terms of the um, uh, um, order win ratio, we are, we have a reasonably good record. We we bid only for limited projects. Uh, our win bid ratio would be in the ranges of 15 percent, which is a good ratio uh, in our industry. Given that we would be bidding for about uh, uh, 20,000 odd crores of projects, we expect uh, some order back order to come through about 5,000 crores in the next year. All right. Uh, uh, just last question, uh, Sandeep. As you've said, you will be bidding for projects for 20,000 crore, but could you give us an update? You just said there is an order backlog of over 300 crore. Correct me if I got the uh, number right or not. What's the status there? We have order backlog of about 3,500 crores. Uh, the status is uh, we are expecting two of the projects to get their appointed date in the next 30 days or so, which we, which will start to generate revenue. The, thir the, uh, the third project, uh, namely Anta Samaria, has been awarded to us in the month of October. Uh, we expect uh, the uh, 
project to go on stream or start the appointed date to take place in the middle of December and that which should also start contributing to the revenue in the Q4.